Greetings, people, and welcome to the seventh episode of Rocky Plays Tower of Saviors. Um, you might have noticed that this, this episode is um way longer than the previous episodes, and that is because we are taking on the first seal of the tower. Now, I've noticed that there was like some sort of crackling going on in the last episode, and um. I'm actually not sure what causes the crackle, um, so if it happens again, I'm sorry, but, um, like, I, I, I might try to filter it out or, you know, record it again if that happens, if it's not too serious. What, what am I talking about? If it's too serious, um, I might, um, you know, re-record it so you don't have to listen to it, but, um, anyways, it's kind of late at night and um, there's not really much that has happened at school um, except for the fact that um, um, I've been like <laughs> I'm getting the crap scared out of me because um, recently I've been um, watching some of my friends and some other online youtubers playing um, Five Nights at Freddy's. It, it, I, it, I, I know why people like the horror, the horror genre so much. Um, uh, th this part, I, I, I actually right here. Um, I think my brother's calling me or something, so his screen paused. Uh, so, but um, don't pay that any attention. So, but um, anyways, um, I um, I didn't actually play the game myself because um, I really, really don't like horror games. Um. One because um, they all that like most horror games they really like jump scares and I just like um, I just can't handle jump scares if if something suddenly pops up in front of me I don't care if it's like a butterfly or a bunny or um, you know something cute or harmless I just get the crap scared out of me regardless so that's one reason I hate. Um, horror games. Um, like m most of the other um, reasons why I hate horror games involve like I, I just really don't like getting scared, and so yeah. But then because uh, be because how popular the game is, I of course I end up you know um, seeing some of my friends play the game and end up getting like bad shits. Um, having um. Having the crap scared out of me because uh, even though I, I'm not the one playing the game and I'm just looking at them playing the game, like not even with the sound on, just watching the antagonist um, jump up on you and and now I can't sleep with the lights off. It, it's been like going for going on for like um, a week now, maybe like give or take a few days, and um. Uh, I'm I'm really sick and tired of this because every time I, I, I can't I absolutely cannot close the lights. Um otherwise I just you know just get so scared. And um my brother's probably like Rocky what the f what in the actual fuck? Um maybe because he hasn't heard of the game. I, I don't he's he probably hasn't heard of the game. And um he probably doesn't, so, so that's why he doesn't really understand why I'm like so scared of the lights off there because um, I never really had a problem with the lights turning off like before, like a week ago. And now for some reason I can't have the lights off or if I have the lights off that that fucking door better be fucking closed. Um, or, or else uh, there will be, co I, I, I know what will happen, I just know some, like, I, I just feel that something bad would happen, but unfortunately um, he, he's like, taking my shit, like, um, he's actually taking my shit pretty well, um, he lets me turn on the lights at night and stuff like that, um, so, uh, yeah, Th that, it, it's just really shitty because I'm not, e I'm not even the one playing the game and this fucking shit happens to me, and people who play the game, you know, they don't get as scared as me. I'm just fucking watching people play, playing the game, and then I get so, so fucking scared. I just, I, I, I just want to hit myself. 
but um, that probably won't help like any. So there is one thing that happened. Why? Okay. And that's my brother just going to the toilet and taking a piss. Um, yeah, I know if you heard that. Um, like, aside from me being too scared to leave the lights off, um, like, um, they're, they're, like, that's a shitty part of my week, but, um, things aren't just shitty. Um, I remember in English co uh, in English class, not exactly at school, but like at a tutorial center, and t um, we kind of discussed, you know, um, problems about leaving, you know, children under the age of eight um, unattended. So um, th there are quite a lot of things that um, happen that could happen to children if you just leave them at home and like don't do anything about it. And some of the few were like um, s some of the more interesting ones were that they they can become like flying man um they can have you know that they can for s for some reason have the plastic bags um tied around their necks and then choke to death and then the one that like to me the one that's most funny is that the children might you know mistake like bleach for um for some kind of drink and actually drink that shit um like um I, I i probably won't actually laugh if if this actually happened but i kind of like burst out laughing because this discussion just made me realize how stupid small children are like i i guess this is why we shouldn't leave um eight-year-old kids alone because they're too stupid to um tell bleach from water <laughs> Um, I I'm sorry if you're like depressed and want to drink bleach to kill yourself. Like I I'm not insulting you, and um, if that if that's your case, then I feel fucking I, I feel so fucking sorry for you. But like, I, I mean, like I, I don't I don't know why people like children so much. People like children are so fucking stupid. Like, like if if I started like acting. So so fucking stupid. I doubt any of it. I I I doubt anyone would like me. But for some reason, when um when like some eight year old acts like so fucking stupid, everyone just goes, "Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute." You know. I, and I like I just don't understand wh why that's the case. I, I absolutely don't understand. Why people find that adorable, I find that so fucking stupid. But, um, you know, uh, when I say that, you know, um, well, the kid's just being stupid and I don't see what's so cute in that, and then they just, they just go like, well, you can't say that because you were a kid once, and, um, you, you just don't have any empathy for these, um, small, cute children, and I'm just like, dude, come on. I mean, they're kind of stupid, like, um, like because like I see why you would think that they're cute because they have fucking big eyes and big face and they're small and they're small fucking bodies, but that this their stupidity is just I don't know, like um everyone like I, I think like because everyone has to be a children at some age they'd probably like said or done some fucking pretty fucking stupid things when they were young like I I'm pretty sure that I've said or done some pretty fucking stupid things when I was like eight but um I just don't quite remember like if you say that like like if someone claims that they haven't said or done anything stupid chances are they're probably lying because um when they're eight, they've probably like said or done something so fucking stupid that you know maybe they remember it, maybe they don't. I don't know. 
That, that's just how I think, you know, children are. So, um, normally, um, my commentary will be over, like, long over at this point in time, but because we're taking on the first seal of the tower, so that's why, um, I have to keep talking, otherwise, be, I don't know, m maybe some of you actually really hate my talking and you're just like, yes, Rocky, like, just stop fucking talking now and just let us watch the video, but, um, it's my video. I, I I can talk like I can talk in it whether you like it or not. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I can't speak, but um I'm going to talk whether I can or n where I can or can't, and whether you like it or not. Um, if you don't like it, I I know why you're watching this video anyways. Why don't you just switch over to some video like um Northern Lion or PewDiePie or. I know, I, I know, I'm just for throwing random famous YouTubers out there. I, I mean, it's not actually that I watch PewDiePie or something. I'm probably gonna get like a lot of shit for that anyways. But, um, you, uh, speaking of YouTubers, I've noticed that um, out of like the handful of YouTubers I watch, more than half of them are Canadian. I, I do not know why, like, like, uh, recently I just checked it, and, um, some of the YouTubers I watch include, um, Northern Lion, he's, um, Canadian, um, uh, The Great Clement, um, I, f I believe he's Canadian as well, and, um, I, I can't name them right now at the top of my, uh, at the top of my head, but um, I'm sure if I actually look into it, there's actually a, f a fair bit of Canadians in my watch list. And, um, like, that's brought my, like, um, I, I think that's why, um, for some reason, I keep on saying sorry, which is not a normal trait that you find in a Chinese, because Chinese are known to be, like, rude fucking asses that curse. And, um, like, that curse and spit everywhere and anywhere. But for some reason, um, like, if, like, if some, if, like, um, I accidentally block someone, I say sorry. If, like, um, I, I walk along someone and then they suddenly stop, I, I, I would just have this urge to say sorry, and oftentimes I will, I will say sorry. And then a lot of my friends just go, uh, like friends IRL, they just go, "What the fuck, Rocky? You don't have to say sorry. What are you doing?" And uh, I'm more like, I can't help it. I, I like when I feel like I've offended people, which is like always, always. Um, I just have this urge to say I'm I'm so fucking sorry even like even though um, I might not actually have done something wrong I, I I just say I'm sorry all the fucking time and um like I, I'm not trying to point fingers but I I think that it might have something to do with um you know me watching a lot of Canadian youtubers because Canadians are known to apologize all the time like that that's so sterile like that that's such a fucking stereotype um it's just like that one stereotype where canadians just say um a all the time um like my, my cousins my, my cousin he said he'd been to um Cana Ca canada but um like he he says that well canadians you know it, it, like they don't actually say a like they don't actually say nice weather eh uh, it, it's kind of like just a stereotype that people you know um, gave them I, I don't know where I'm going with this I, I just find it really funny because like Canadians are known to say uh, I'm so uh, I'm sorry and then I I just happen to watch a lot of Canadian youtubers and then I happen to say you know I'm sorry a lot of the time um I know I don't sound like it, especially now when I'm, um, 
when I'm doing this video, I, I'm just like cursing like a fucking sailor. But like in real life, like I, I don't know why in real life I just say I'm so sorry like so many times that people just ask me, well, can you just fucking stop? Don't fucking say I'm sorry anymore. You didn't do anything wrong. And I just, dude, I can't help it. I just have the urge to say I'm sorry. I don't know why. And um, like not that I don't mean it when I say I'm sorry. I, I just don't know why. I actually feel that I have to say I'm sorry. So um, 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 I I'm trying to think of the time that I didn't actually say I'm sorry when I did something wrong. And that's probably the time when um, I pranked like one of my classmates. Um, like it, it was uh, it was during Chinese class and um, we were like I headed out to the water closet. Um, so um, she, she and then she uh, got out of classroom to go to the water closet as well. Um, it was during class, so um, the teacher was there and she let us go to wall closet. Um, I actually came out of the wall closet um, fast uh, before she did, and so um, I entered the classroom before she did. And when I closed the door, I locked it behind me, and then she couldn't get in. Like sh she just couldn't get in, and she, she, like the door, like like. She just tried so hard to turn the door knob, but it just would not budge. And then she she absolutely could not get in, and and I was like in my seat, just like laughing really hard, La like laughing at the fact that um, she, like I like I locked the door and she couldn't get in, and I feel like such a fucking eight year old for doing that. But um, like if that that's just my problem. If if. The opportunity to prank someone presents itself to me. I, I cannot resist the urge to like prank someone. Normally, my laziness can overcome any temptation, and um, um, but like not in in, in this case. Like, I, I don't care who the fuck you are, um, where the fuck we are, how the fuck, how, how fucking old I am. If I have the chance to prank someone, I I'll fucking do it. Like I will do it, like uh, unless you're like some someone like really respectable that I wouldn't even think about pranking. But otherwise, uh, I'd I'd probably do it. So here we finally defeated the um, boss of the first seal, and the owl's basically saying, basically saying, "Well, nice job, you did there, Matt." Uh, what? Uh, <coughs> nice job, Matt. Uh, mate, fuck, I, I, I don't know what accent I was trying to go for there and I screwed it up. But um, <laughs> I'm just going to talk in my normal voice. Uh, basically, he's saying that, um, well, you did, uh, you did good, kid, but, um, you know, you gotta, you know, take it up and uh, step up, step up a notch if you're going to break all the other seals. And that's basically it. Um, so uh, this is where we have to defeat all of the other areas again before um, we break the second seal of the tower. Um, there's actually one <laughs> teeny tiny problem is that um, I can't actually record any other episode. I, I still have one pre-recorded episode, but um, uh, I don't know what the problem is. If the problem fixes itself, then episodes will probably resume, no problem. But um, if it doesn't fix itself, um, I still want to make videos, so I might find something else to record. This um, series might be on hold, but um, hopefully it won't come to that. So, such a long episode. Anyways, we're at the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope that I'll see you next time. See ya!